A major employer announces job cuts in the Hill City. Genworth Financial is laying off about 200 employees in Lynchburg. That's yeah, a move by the company to restructure and sell part of its business, and it's related to the company's decision to suspend life insurance and fixed annuity sales. WSOS 10's Duke Carter joins us now in the studio after spending a good part of the day in Lynchburg. So, Duke, mm -hmm. uh, how do uh, businesses in the area feel about this job loss? Good evening, John. Well, many businesses in the area are sad to hear, like everyone else, that there were 200 jobs cuts from one of the largest employers in the Lynchburg area. And they're hoping Lynchburg will attract more companies that will replace the jobs. Downtown Lynchburg is getting a lot of foot traffic on a Friday night. It's that foot traffic that helps small mom and pop businesses like Cheesy Rider Foot Truck. We like it. It's fun. But what isn't fun? Learning Genworth Financial, one of the largest employers in the Hill City, is laying off 200 employees. I'm saddened to hear that news. It's not good for Lynchburg. I know Genworth uh, employs a lot of people employs a lot of people who spend money in downtown Lynchburg. It's that reason why folks with the Lynchburg Regional Alliance are hoping those employees find new jobs. They say those who lost their jobs come as far away as Alta Vista, and that's why they're reaching out to other businesses in the community to keep the spending money local. Leaders in the Business Alliance are hoping Lynchburg can bounce back and add more jobs in the future. It's sad. Uh, my reaction is that it's sad to see. It's unfortunate. Um, we hate to see any of our local companies uh, transition and uh, make these sorts of decisions. So we we are um, saddened by it. But despite the 200 jobs being cut, city leaders say they really aren't worried. Lynchburg's mayor, Michael Gillette, says leaders with Genworth informed him Thursday of the job cuts, but say they are committed to staying in Lynchburg. Gillette is hopeful, though, once the company becomes stable, it will hire back some of its employees. We have sympathy for the folks who are, are going to be in a little bit of turmoil here. This is not going to harm Lynchburg in any deep way. Um, it's not as though the the survival of the uh, Lynchburg industry is at stake here. But there's no question that 200 jobs is a lot of jobs. A lot of jobs that hopefully will return at some point. Well, I hope that uh, the economy in Lynchburg continues to prosper and that downtown continues to grow and provide business opportunities. Now, the employees with Ginworth Financial have been notified today, and most will get two months of paid layoff notice. The mayor says the city of Lynchburg is working with the Economic Development's office to figure out how to expand or attract new businesses to the area so people can find other jobs.